So in uh, just a couple of days, less than a week, they'll be slowly opening their eyes and ears. And sometimes when I gently touch the side of their face, I notice them sort of uh, wincing, not wincing, but um, flinching. Flinching is the word. So slowly, slowly, their eyes are opening. Hello, everyone. Today we are here with Stella's little lab puppies. Today they are two weeks old and they have nearly tripled in size. When the last time you saw them, they were small and slim, and now they have rounded out their little figure and they're getting stronger, they're getting more vocal and they're becoming more active so they're able to sort of crawl around they're not walking yet but they are getting louder and we feel as though it's not as um risky leaving stella unintended say we're like doing some chores around the house because the puppies are more vocal now if she like um maybe leans on one the puppy will have no problem uh, getting vocal about it and we've been noticing that they're louder and right now they're not interacting with each other just yet but they are getting stronger for sure and they're sleeping well they as you can see their faces are slowly um, they're growing into their faces and Stella is such a great mom she is making sure that each puppy is taken care of and she she heard a squeak earlier today from one of the puppies and she made she came over to make sure everything was okay <laughs> but the puppies are just so cute and they're getting chubbier and their bellies are getting rounder so as you can see right now some of the puppies are nursing. This puppy, he's the runt of the group, but he is growing and just like his siblings, he is getting rounder and heavier, which is a very good sign. And all the puppies are slowly becoming to look like each other in terms of weight, like weight and dimension. Um, no puppy is significantly smaller than the other if that makes sense. They're all about the same weight and <laughs> these little puppies are resting on her paw. Yeah. Can we take a look in there? Yes, I'll, I'll pick this one guy up. So he is our only uh, yellow lab and he is interesting because his paws are black as you can see the black or dark brown dark brown and his nose and I don't know about his tongue can we see your tongue little buddy I think all of their tongues are pink yeah but there we go here's a nice yawn so look at their tongue do you see how thin and wide it is that is so that they can grip Stella's nipple and nurse as dogs will grow their tongues will become thicker and more narrow so that they can scoop up water but right now when they're young buddy you're so good thank you for being my example when they're young as you can see their tongue is thin and wide it might be a strange analogy but oh what a cute little guy he i can't wait to see how he turns out i've never we like I've mentioned before we've never had a yellow lab before we've had chocolates and blacks and silvers but this is a new little treasure <laughs> for us so in a, just a couple of days less than a week they'll be slowly opening their eyes and ears and sometimes when I gently touch the side of their face I notice them sort of uh, wincing not wincing but um flinching flinching is the word so slowly slowly their eyes are opening <laughs> you okay there <laughs> i think he's enjoying to be in your hands i'm oh, giving him gosh. a little puppy massage i don't remember another puppy who was that good and so patient yeah some of our puppies get very worried when they get picked up because yeah. i mean yeah being on your back can get a little uh, scary sometimes, but <laughs> look at his little 
belly. So I don't remember cute. the puppy who has been in your hands for such a long time. Yeah, right here he looks like a little bear, almost. Oh yeah, he like does. a little polar bear with his ears. But he was—he's moving his hands and oh, legs. He's stretching. <laughs> he stretching? Yeah, I can guess. Can you feel him stretching? A little bit. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is so cute! I don't want to put him down! Let's look at his paws one more time. See? Very cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see what he looks like. Aww. Gosh, is he even alive? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he died. He died from <laughs> happiness. <laughs> so, future buyer of our yellow lab. Make sure to give him head rubs and belly rubs. And other puppies as well. Yeah, <laughs> especially this guy. So see, they're growing into their features. Slowly but surely, pretty soon their snouts will be more prominent. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so here we have a black girl. Oh, and she's just so cute. I bet she's going to look exactly like her mama. <laughs> and puppies' paws are so adorable because they're soft and they're not calloused yet. Stella's paws are calloused because she runs around everywhere on gravel and dirt and whatnot. But puppies, because they haven't been walking around on any ground, their little pillows on their paws are very soft and touchable. <laughs> so I'm I feel like I'm no longer able to hold the puppies just with one hand. I mean I could, but I feel much safer holding them in two hand with two hands. Okay. Here you go, here you go. <laughs> okay, here's another black puppy. This is a boy, though. System. Stella's a word. Like, See, she's um, liking him. Enrichment. Yeah. Some kind of enrichment. Oh, I just saw him blink. I know yeah, his I eyes think, aren't open. Yeah, I but... think his eyes start actually to open. I think I saw what I believe too. As I mentioned before, Stella is very attentive. Um, Ooh, the puppy is going can, to the can bathroom. Can you see? Yeah, he starts to open his eyes. So this is very exciting. Okay. And then in the next video um, that we will post about our labs, they most likely will have opened eyes. Okay. I want to get through of uh, through all the black puppies and move on to the brown puppies. I don't think I showed this guy yet. This is another black boy. <laughs> they are just so cute. I just can't. He looks like a little black bear. <laughs> hey. Hello. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then I think lastly this little puppy, which is another girl. I hope I am showing all of the puppies. I hope I I hope this wasn't the one I just picked up. Yes, she's the smaller one. She's the smaller. So here's where her belly button is, where her umbilical cord was attached. It's interesting to think that animals also have belly buttons. Okay, okay, here you go. So even between um, two puppies that are black and chocolate, we still have ways to tell which puppy is which. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to this little chocolate. This is a girl, chocolate girl. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, she will, uh, she will jump out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but our viewers can see how they're becoming more and more active. I mean, you saw her move. 
She is probably hungry. No, oh, look at her young. Yeah, she just woke up and she's hungry. Okay, we can give her back to mom. Here you go, Stella. Here you go. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this. Okay. <laughs> This little chocolate, and this is a boy, a chocolate boy. We have two boys. Mm. Okay, okay, Stella, you can have him. Here you chocolate go. boy. <laughs> And he will be our last puppy shown today. Very cute. Yeah, he opens his mouth. I see a little narrow. Oh, okay. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. A little growl. Here you go, Stella. I'll put him here. Okay, and uh, I know we showed this guy, but he's just so he's cute. Full and he's sleepy. He kind of reminds me of a little baby kangaroo. Why kangaroo? I don't know. I think kangaroos have similar features where they're light but have a darker face. Mm. <laughs> so cute. Reminds me of a golden retriever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Stella. Kisses. Mm. Well, this is a good example of how some kids may not look like their parents, but they may look like their grandparents or maybe aunts or uncles. Um, so this little guy looks like his grandpa, his maternal grandpa. Jeez. Mm -hmm. That's genetics. Biology is interesting for sure. Yeah? Since our puppies have doubled or even tripled in size, the puppy area has also doubled and tripled in size because when the puppies were just born, there was plenty of room for them to lie in a single line. Now, some of the puppies need to lay on top of each other to make room. And it's only going to get more crowded from here on out. But this is a good sign because the puppies are growing and developing and maintaining healthy weights. So even though there's barely any room for a nice dinner, we are so happy to see that our puppies are growing and becoming healthy dogs. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that you subscribe and join our big happy family and stay up to date with these puppies and our other puppies and possibly even more future puppies coming along the way so like this video subscribe to stay up to date with our big happy family and please share with friends and family yes and we are always happy to see comments and we enjoy hearing what you guys have to say thank you goodbye Let's wave, let's wave. Bye guys! Bye! He was a Bye. good baby today. Thank you so much, he was a good <laughs> baby today. Mm. Stella, give him kisses, lots of kisses, yes. Yes, <laughs> more kisses. Goodbye guys! <laughs>